It can be quite difficult knowing which scan tool to buy for your Peugeot as there are so many options all with varying features on the market, some good, some bad. But in this video we'll steer you in the right direction and help you understand which scan tool is right for you, your Peugeot and your budget. Showing you some cheap and more advanced options along the way, we'll show you some tools that are made just for Peugeot vehicles and some tools that are made for Peugeot and other makes and models. We'll also put links to these kits in the description and the pinned comment, making it easy for you to find these tools if you were interested. So let's get started. We have five tools out on show, and at the end of this video, I'll reveal which of these tools I would personally buy if it was my money or with my personal car, knowing what I know about all of these tools. They are the best selling tools at Diagnostic World, so they all have a good reputation and a track record. Starting at this end of the table, we have the cheapest through to the most expensive, and you'll generally find that the more expensive tools have more features and functions, which you'll begin to understand as we go through the video and at the end of the video if you're still unsure then please do email us and we can check for you give you our recommendation based on your budget your vehicle and uh, your specific needs for that particular vehicle okay so we're starting at this end this is the cheapest tool on the table this is the iCarsoft CP version 1.0 and this tool covers all systems within your vehicle okay so um, it actually covers Citroen, Peugeot, Renault, Dacia, Alfa Romeo and Fiat vehicles. OK, so if you did have another one of those vehicles, then it would also cover you for that vehicle as well. So I'll run through that again. Citroen, Peugeot, Renault, Dacia, Alfa Romeo and Fiat. OK, but for your vehicle, it'll cover all of the main systems like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission and any other system which is installed to your vehicle. So it could be things like air suspension, power steering, central locking, HVAC systems, and anything else that's installed. It'll give you a fault code, it'll give you a description of the fault, and it'll allow you to diagnose them, reset them, reset the warning lights associated with that fault. That's the same for all of these kits, okay? Um, but this kit also comes, the, the CP version one also comes with one service functionality, and it is the ability to do the oil service resets, okay? So you'll hear me talking about oil service resets throughout the remainder of this video, and it'll become more obvious what I mean by them um, and the different levels of service functionality you get as we go through the video, okay? So that's the version 1.0 tool. So if you, if, you, you know, if, if, you, if you are interested in just sort of diagnosing like an airbag light or a check engine light or an oil service reset light, then by all means, this is gonna be a good tool for you, okay? But we then move on to the version 2.0 tool. So the version 2.0 tool, uh, this is called the FR version 2.0 and it covers everything that this tool will do but it has additional service functionality, okay? So yes, it'll do all of your main systems like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, power steering, things like that, but it will also do more service functions. So it'll do the oil service reset, it'll do DPF regeneration, electronic parking brake, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, new battery registration, injector coding, and ABS brake bleeding. It's important for me to point out though, that it really does depend on which vehicle you're putting it into. So if you were wanted to double check one of those features was suitable for your vehicle, and we can uh, send us an email, give us your vehicle information, and we can check that for you, okay? Um, so that's the version 2.0. Interestingly, they, they do have slightly different names. So this is called the CP version 1.0. This is called the FR version 2. And the FR version 2 stands for, well, it's supposed to be for French and Italian, but they've only really started with the FR. So I don't know why they haven't labeled it something like FRI version two for French and Italian, uh, but there it is, it's the FR version two, okay? And then we move on to this version here. You've guessed it, it's the FR version 3.0 tool. Now this tool goes over and above what these tools will do because this has more, it's had, it has better hardware installed, okay? And that means it has better software installed. So because it has better software, better hardware, it can do way more things, all right? So it goes over and above and it does everything that these tools can do. So it does all of your systems, like your engines, airbags, ABS, transmission. It does all of the, um, the service reset functions. Um, a few of them I haven't mentioned, but I will in a second. Uh, but it also is a, a bi-directional scan tool, and that means you can test specific components, 
You can test, uh, you can do live tests on specific modules and specific parts of the vehicle if you're maybe unsure as to whether it's working correctly or not. Um, so the, the, the version 3.0 tool does, as I say, actuation tests, component testing, suspension calibration, EGR adaption, transmission adaption, fuel pump purge, air conditioning reset, engine adaptions, add blue resets, depending on the vehicle, and some other adaptions and calibrations. Again, it does Citroen. All of these will do Citroen, Peugeot, Renault, Dacia, Alfa Romeo, and Fiat, because they are French and Italian. And my display is falling apart. So that's the FR version 3.0 tool. Um, it does cost more than these two tools, but it gives you a lot more in terms of functionality as well, all right? Um, so that's the FR version 3.0 tool. Now all of these tools, so the one, the two, and the three, these are all aimed at your specific vehicle, all right? Whereas the next tool we're gonna move on to, the CR Pro kit, is a multi-manufacturer kit. And when I say multi-manufacturer, we move away from the kind of the French and Italians. Um, and this does more sort of European stuff, Asian stuff, and the French and Italians as well. Um, but when I say European, obviously these are European, but it does Audi, it does VW, BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, Volvo, Ford. So it does all of your your major European brands as well as all of these. Um, so maybe if you've got like a, I don't know, like a Citroen, a Peugeot, Renault, Dacia, Alfa Romeo, Fiat, and you also got a BMW, Mercedes, a Ford, an Audi, VW, Seat, Skoda, something like that, and this tool will cover you. This tool has the same service functionality as the version 2.0 tool. Um, so it does things like oil service, DPF, electronic park and brake, steering angle sensor, injector coding, battery registration, things like that. Um, so that's the iCars of CR Pro. And it's been a really, really good seller for a number of years, this. And it's still continuing to sell really, really well in, in its high numbers. So that's why we keep stocking it. Um, so just a really, really good tool. And it does exactly what it's supposed to 99.9% um, .9 of the time. All right. So the CR Pro kit, as I say, it, it, it not only does it, does it, did do the European, but it does the um, like the Asians as well. So the Toyota, the Honda, the Suzuki's, um, Subarus, Nissan's, Lexus, you name it. And then the it does some uh, Americans as well. So it does like GMC, Chevrolet, Chrysler, um, Dodge, Jeep, things like that. All right. We then move on to this tool here. Now you'll notice that this tool does look a little bit different. It's a tablet-based kit. Um, because it's a tablet-based kit, it has much better capabilities and a much better hardware within, inbuilt within the tool, so therefore it can house much better software. So this tool here, the CR Mac, can do everything that all of these tools can do, but it has the best of all of the software, so it has the best of the system coverage, the best of the manufacturer coverage, um, the best of the service functionality, so it does over and above all of these kits um, with the absolute best software which has been installed and it covers all makes and models, all right? Um, it's, a, it's a tablet based kit, so it not only can you just be diagnosing your vehicle, but you can also do anything else that a tablet can do as well, all right? Um, but it is the most expensive tool on the table, but it's not like eye-wateringly expensive. You'll find that it's for the the amount of features and functions that it packs into it, it's not like ridiculously expensive. And I know some of the, the main competitors to this are actually priced at like double the price and you have to pay for updates on those tools. Well, this tool here, and in fact, actually all of the tools on this table, they will give you free updates for life and that is guaranteed, okay? So you'll never have to pay anything over and above what you do pay for the tool. Um, they'll all give you a unique fault code, uh, a description of the fault, and the ability to diagnose fault codes, reset fault codes, reset dashboard warning lights, view live data within the vehicle, all right? So it just really depends on which tool fits into your, uh, your budget and your needs uh, more specifically. Now, I did say at the start of the video that I was gonna recommend a tool which I would personally buy if it was my money. Um, on my vehicle based on what I know about these tools and having worked with these tools for a number of years, we know the kind of these tools inside out. So if it was just me and I was gonna go for a tool which just, I was just really interested in my manufacturer. So let's say my manufacturer is either a Citroen, a Peugeot, a Renault, a Dacia, an Alfa Romeo or a Fiat. 
then hands down, I would go for the FR version 3.0 tool. That is because it covers the most amount of vehicles, systems within the vehicles, and the most amount of service functions. It's bi-directional, so you can test a lot of different systems and components within the vehicle. That is assuming you want the best tool for your, that particular vehicle, all right? Let's say you just have an airbag light and you just simply want to reset the airbag light then you're going to move the vehicle on or you just you're not that bothered about you know upkeeping it and having a tool which is always going to be sort of checking the health and things like that then the, you, you you might not need to look past this tool here it's the most it's the cheapest tool it'll do the job but if you're wanting the best tool for your vehicle that'll give you health reports and scan the whole vehicle uh do checks all over the vehicle then this is the tool i would definitely go for the fr version 3.0 okay if I had, let's say, one of those vehicles that this particular manufacturer, and then I also had like an Audi or a BMW, Mercedes, a Ford, um, or I just wanted to look after some of the vehicles like in my family or my, my friend's setup, then hands down, it would be the CR Max kit. The CR Max kit, it's such a highly recommended tool. You know, like I say, if you're an enthusiast with a few cars, a small garage, a workshop, uh, you just want the best tool that the money the, your money can buy, then the CR Max is definitely the one to go for. As I say, it covers all systems, engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, does a lot of service functions, calibrations, adaptions, and it's just probably the most bang for buck tool out there. So the most amount of coverage, system functionality, service functionality, resets, bi-directional controls, adaptions, calibrations, uh, vehicle coverage per tool for the money you pay for it and this is one of the best value tools on the market irrelevant of what we've got on the table here but it is uh, overall probably one of the best uh, the best bang for buck tools out there um, that's just my opinion but you know given that i have been working with these tools um, for a number of years now, we do kind of know these tools inside out. We know what they can and can't do. So um, th that's just my advice based on what we know about them. So either one of these tools um, is what we'd recommend. Now the links are in the descriptions below, as I say. And if you're still unsure about which tool to go for, then please do send us an email. We can check for you, give us your vehicle information, um, and we can check telling you which tool uh, we'd recommend you go for. All right, thanks for watching guys, and I hope this helps.